During filming, most of the members of the fellowship took up surfing in New Zealand in their spare time. Amongst them was Vigo Mortensen, who wiped out terribly one day and bruised one whole side of his face. The next day, makeup artists tried to mask the bruising and swelling but were unsuccessful. Instead, Sir Peter Jackson opted to film Mortensen from one side for the entire scene. In the minds of Moria, when they find the tomb, Aragorn is only seen from one side in the whole scene. Hello ladies and gentlemen boys and girls, welcome back to Movie Mistakes. And today we're gonna show you 10 mistakes that we found in The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. I don't believe I need to put a spoiler alert on this video. This movie is so old that you should have seen it by now. So let's get started. Ganji, have you been eavesdropping? When Gandalf pulls Sam in through the window at Bag End and throws him on the desk to ask him questions, several items fall off of the desk. The scene switches back and forth between Sam and Gandalf's perspectives several times. When Sam is shown, the arrangement and appearance of items on the floor below vary. In some shots, there is a wooden box and book on the floor to the left side of Sam's head and or a book and paper to the right. Cut the grass under the window there, if you follow me. As Sam, Mary and Pippin run across the grass towards the Buckleberry Ferry, they have two shadows, bold ones behind them, presumably meant to be from the moon, but also unexplained faint ones to their right. This is before they pass the cottage, so it can't be light from the weak lamps hanging outside. When Frodo is then pursued by the wraith his shadow is in front of him, yet he is running in the same direction as the other hobbits were. When Frodo stops rolling down the snow-covered hill, just before the shot of Boromir picking up the ring, you can see the edge of the stockings that the actors wore to protect their feet since they were walking in real snow for that scene. Once the secret door to Moria is open, when Gimli says, Soon Master Elf, you will enjoy the fabled hospitality of the dwarves, as Gandalf leads the way inside. Note the glint of the trailing power cord as it moves along the ground behind Gandalf and goes directly under his robe. This is the staff's electrical supply cable. Roaring fires, malt beer. Nineteen after Sam dives between the troll's legs and tries to crawl away, Aragorn and Boromir pull the chain that's around the troll's neck to get him away from Sam. In the next two shots of Sam, his left wrist has an ace bandage wrapped around it, it's at his white shirt cuff. Notice the bar on his palm between his thumb and index finger. He did not have the bandage in earlier shots, nor does he have it in later shots. <laughs> As the cave troll throws Pippin from its back, he is holding his sword in his right hand. When he hits the ground it is in his left. <laughs> when Boromir attacks him, Frodo frantically slips the ring onto his middle finger, with the chain. Yet, as Frodo runs up the steps of the ruins, Boromir yells, Frodo, I'm sorry. And Frodo wears the ring on his index finger. He is terrified, so as to remain invisible he does not change fingers. <laughs> After Lurtz releases his first arrow at Boromir, one of the hobbit stand-ins is seen to Boromir's left, throwing stones. The next shot is of Merry and Pippin standing close together, looking at Boromir to their left. They have moved position to the other side of him. <laughs> Boromir gets hit by Lurtz's second arrow, drops down to his knees in front of Merry and Pippin, gathers strength, turns around and stabs in Uruk. In the next wide shot and close-up, he stands and is about to stab in Uruk in the back and the two arrows in his chest are there. Yet, in the next wide shot, as his blade is going down into the Uruk, Boromir has only the lower arrow in him. The one near his shoulder is not there, for 23 frames. In the next close-up, the upper arrow is back. 
These arrows are not CGI. Aragorn's mouth is badly bloodied when he is headbutt by Lurtz, but the blood disappears almost immediately. So what did you think of the video? If you enjoyed it, please smash the like and subscribe buttons now. Also don't forget to let us know what you would like to see next. Thanks for hanging out with us here at Moving Mistakes. Be sure to watch the next Movie Mistakes video on the channel and we'll see you next time.